Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I thought since I'm sitting down to film some videos that I'm probably overdue for a book chat video. I really enjoy chatting about books. I know they're not my most popular video on my channel, but some of you guys really enjoy hearing about what I'm reading. And I've been reading a lot since it has been a while since I did my last book chat video. I did plan on doing one just before I left for America and then ran out of time. So I do apologize. This one might be a bit rambly given that it's been quite a while since I've read some of these books and my thoughts won't be as I guess clear about them and I may forget things and may get them muddled up but I did want to tell you guys what about what I've been reading and as always I'll link or list all the books that I have read in the description box below so you can go to Amazon or go to Goodreads check them out if they sound like something that you're interested in then give them a read and definitely come back and comment and let me know what you thought about them or chat to me in the comments or on Twitter or, or wherever because I, I love hearing about what you guys are reading so let's start I don't know if these are in any order one of them that I have here is by Kaylee Marco, and this is Choose Us. I spoke about this in my April favorites. This one is kind of a bachelor type story where there is a guy, he is famous, or a famous BMX rider and a sports channel basically wants to put him in a bachelor-esque style show where he goes on dates with a whole heap of girls and he basically has to choose one that he, he falls in love with. His best friend, who's also his personal assistant, is a girl, somebody he's been best friends with since they were little, and he basically says to her that she has to go on the show and, and weed out all the fake girls and pretend to be one of his dates even though the rest of America who are watching know that him that he is uh, her best friend but the actual girls in the, the show don't know. Of course they, they find out that maybe the people that they wanted to be with have been staring them in the face all along. It's a little bit of drama I guess surrounded by the fact that this girl is falling in love with her best friend and at the same time he's going out on dates with a lot of girls some of which she doesn't she doesn't like at all so that is Choose Us. I did really like it for like a new adult kind of romance novel. It's just fun and lighthearted, and I would recommend it if you do like shows like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I don't really watch them but I did enjoy this book. Another series that I read was by Tara Civic or Sevic, it's S-I-V-E-C, and the first book is Seduction and Snacks. Now, this book popped up for some random reason, I don't know, it might have been in one of my Amazon recommendations. I read it and holy hell, it was so incredibly funny to me. I don't know, it, I guess it depends on your sense of humour, but I found it hilarious. This is definitely an adult romance novel, there's a lot of like adult humour in it and swearing and bits and pieces like that, but if you're not easily offended then I would recommend this series because it was really, really, really funny. I really enjoyed it. The general premise is this girl is in college and she basically wants to lose her virginity. That That's what she's out to do. She has a one night stand and she manages to fall pregnant from that. And then basically she didn't even get the guy's name. She goes to look for him, never finds him. And then we sort of flash forward four years later or five years later and she's got an adorable little four year old son with a potty mouth who has some of the funniest lines in the entire book he makes for some of the funniest scenes. Anyway, we also cut to the guy and we find out that he that night kind of stuck with him and he actually did look for her and, and anyway, we, we sort of follow their story about them coincidentally meeting up again and him realizing that he now has a son and sort of working out how they're going to go forward, if they're going to have a relationship, how he's going to be a dad, things like that. Really, really funny, heartwarming story. I loved them as a couple. I loved the son. I loved their friends, the, the secondary characters. There is a second book which continues on from the first one and that is called Trouble, Troubles and Treats. I think that's the second one. I hope I'm not getting this wrong. Um, and again, it follows on same group of friends, same people, really, really funny. And I, I enjoyed the first two probably the most. Then there was a third book. Oh no, sorry, I lied. Troubles and Treats was the third book. I'm getting all these mixed up. I'm, I apologize. Futures and Frosting is the second book. So again, this one is the, is the same couple and the same group of friends. Really, really funny. Things about planning a wedding and, and, and things like that. And the humor really stays. The, the third book, which is... Let me get this right now. Troubles and Treats. Concentrates on two of the secondary characters from the other books. Now, this one has mixed reviews, and I think it's because those char characters worked really well as secondary characters, but not everybody would like them as main characters. I loved the whole series that much that I didn't mind some of the sort of stupid over-the-topness that sort of came out in the third book. 
there was no way that I wouldn't have read it because I just wanted to hear more and more about the characters. Like the, the years progress and they have more children and more of them are getting married and, and it's just, I, I like seeing a story through, especially if I've fallen in love with the characters early on and I, I enjoyed it enough to continue reading it even though it probably wasn't to me as necessarily well written as the first two and then there's also Hearts and Llamas which is a like 3.5, it was a little novella. I liked it because it was good to sort of again hear more about the characters but it was really 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 short, it was only like 99 cents or something like that but it wasn't really a novella to me, it was almost like two chapters. But again if you fall in love with the story then you may choose to read this one as well because it um, is just more of the characters that you like. So that was that series. Another one, I actually had this recommended to me by Christina or Tina. I think her name is Tina Lynn Reads. I hope I'm getting that right. Anyway, she sent me a uh, link on Twitter or said that I had to read Lick by Kylie Scott. And I read the first book, loved it by the way, and then it wasn't until the end of the book that I realized that she's actually an Australian author. The books are set in America, so you would have no idea but I read it and I saw at the very end that it was said first published by blah 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 Australia and I was like oh okay and then I did a little bit of research realized she's Australian so I'm more than happy to support Australian authors. Lick is the first in the Stage Dive series, there's also a second book Play and then the third book is coming out I think at the end of July so I'm really really excited about that. This one was a new adult romance kind of series based around a band. You kind of get to know all the people in the band and um, the story starts a little bit over the top. It's a, I hope I'm getting these stories right in my head, but basically this girl's 21 goes to Vegas, gets really really drunk and somehow manages getting, ending up, waking up married to one of the guys in, in a band, a really popular kind of rock band. Um, she doesn't even realise that it's him until after and basically she kind of has to go meet with him to, um, I guess, she doesn't remember any of it, he does remember that night and he was a little bit hurt that she didn't remember and basically they kind of have to get together to work out if they're going to divorce or annul and, and by getting together and spending time together they realise that maybe that the relationship which started off a little bit crazy is actually perfect for them and they really get each other and he's happy to find a girl who wants him for him and not for his money or his fame or stardom. A lot of different sort of hiccups along the way but one of those stories that you really really like and you know that the um, the dialogue and everything was really well written but you know that you're going to fall in love with those other characters and you're going to have other books based on at least the other three guys in the band. So like I said, the second book, which is Play, this is Lick, um, the, let me open up Play so you guys can see the cover, is based on the best friend of the guy in the first book. He is the drummer of the band and we get to hear about, a bit more about his story. His book, he's a little bit of a bad boy and he wants a bit more of a, um, a good rep, a good rep, 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 rep. I can't even speak today. A good reputation. I don't even know what is wrong with me. Anyway, he decides to basically pay or pay for some stuff for a girl who's fallen on hard times so she will pretend to date him because she, I guess, understands she's come from um, a, a bad background and she's trying to support her sister going to college and her roommate did the dodge on her and ran off and he basically swoops in and is going to pretend to live will live with her and pay for her rent and stuff and they're going to have a pretend relationship but obviously while having a pretend relationship sometimes you can realize that you want to make that relationship actually real and that's how our story progresses from there. Really well written like I said it is set in America but an Australian author loved it um, and I can't wait for the next book. Another couple of books I read by I think it's Tams and Besta. This is Beneath Your Beautiful and then Begin Again. So Beneath Your Beautiful. These books were written in a way, I think the author's only about 22 years old, which is crazy. You can tell that it was the first novel because there were some parts that were a little bit over the top. Again, it's kind of like a, a young adult, new adult romance story. There were some things that I felt were a, a little bit over the top but it was still really sweet and beautiful and a nice enough story that I wanted to keep on reading it. I actually like the second book even better than the first one. I think it was better written so I think that you can tell that she is definitely progressing as an author and I would continue to read stuff from her just to see how she, she grows because I mean she's obviously she's probably younger than me and um, is writing whole books which I, I just think is amazing. 
This one was based on a girl who is starting out college. She moved to another place because her parents have both died and she's gone to live with her aunt and uncle and she meets a guy and it's basically, it's about their relationship. He is um, quite popular and she's kind of shy and new to the area but anyway she's sort of learning to let people in again and then we also meet their their best friends or his his best friend and her uh, new roommate and they end up like I said becoming really good friends and then the second book which is Begin Again is based on the best friend and or the two best friends they actually get together in the first book I hope that's kind of not a spoiler I don't think it really is because you kind of can predict that but anyway they get together in the first book and the next book is kind of about them breaking apart and then coming back together so you kind of get to hear about the their their story continuing plus the story of the original couple continuing as well i do think that you need to read even though they, they could i guess be standalone that you should read um beneath your beautiful first because that makes begin again make a lot more sense and um, more emotional and it, I think if you read just begin again on its own it wouldn't have the pull it does when you you know their backstory so overall not my favorite books ever but I did enjoy them and I think props to the author that she's she's trying and you can tell that she's definitely improving so I would definitely read more stuff from her in the future I also read uh, room for you and room for more by Beth F Ehem or Hemen? I don't know if the E is silent. E H E M A N N. I'm butchering names. I really apologize. This one was more of an adult kind of romance novel, or that the characters were older, based on a young woman who has twin daughters. Uh, she currently lives with her mother, and they have like a bed and breakfast, and she. Um, basically meet somebody that comes to stay he gets kind of stranded and ends up staying and they kind of hit it off and he keeps on coming back to visit he falls in love with her and her girls and things like that um, it turns out that he's actually a hockey player which it brings in a whole lot of other dramas and things like that and working out whether she really can be with somebody since their lives are so different and then the second book, which is Room for More, kind of continues on. We hear a bit more about the, the father of the twins who'd obviously deserted um, the mother back when she first had them. She fell on quite hard times and he was quite horrible to her. And it's about her kind of him coming back into their lives and, and I guess working out whether she's willing to let him be a part of the girls' lives and how they're going to work as a family given that the new man in her life really loves the daughters and almost he, he's like a father figure to them as well given that he, they never really knew their own father so there are it's a lot of like adult drama and romance but i really enjoyed it the, the cranberry inn series i don't know if there's any more or it's just the two books but i did really enjoy them wow so much i read rush too far by abby glines i've mentioned abby glines many 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 times before love her work rush too far is the Rush's point of view of Fallen Too Far, which is originally written in the girl's point of view. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure whether it was going to extend the story anymore. It didn't. It was literally just Fallen Too Far, but from a completely different perspective. I liked hearing from Rush's perspective. I love that story and those characters, so whenever I hear more about them, I get really, really excited. That's just... I was just bound to really enjoy that book. Another one that I have here is The Year We Fell Down by Serena Bowen. This one I really, really enjoyed. I think it's a standalone novel, although actually no, it's not the Ivy Years. It's going to be a series, but this is the first book. It is about a guy and a girl who meet when they're at college, and the girl is starting college completely how she didn't expect to. She's starting college in a wheelchair. She suffered from a hockey accident. She was a, a hockey ice hockey player and was supposed to go to this college on a scholarship to play hockey, and instead she's going in a wheelchair because she has now um, lost the capacity of, or some of the capacity of her legs from falling and she gets put into a particular dorm that is like has handicap access and she is across the road from a guy who is a star hockey player of that actual college I think he's a year or two older than her and he has injured himself so basically he broke his leg in two places and he's there too because he needs to sort of be on crutches or in a wheelchair as well his is obviously temporary hers isn't as temporary but they kind of I guess fall for each other and she is trying to work out how 
she can kind of attract the attention of this guy who has a girlfriend already and she is feeling less than adequate and less than her true self she feels broken and it's really sort of a heartwarming and it, it's one of these ones that's really emotional things that you just don't think about I mean we all think we have problems but I can't imagine what it's like to go from being really athletic to all of a sudden not being able to use your legs properly and and then having to change and, and start college and and go through all that as well so I really really enjoyed the year we fell down I want to read more in this Ivy Years series and I would recommend this book if that sounds like it's interesting to you okay the last book that I want to talk about is by Wendy Higgins and it is Sweet Reckoning this is the third and final book in the Sweet Evil series I've mentioned the other two books previously in favorites videos before I really enjoyed it it's one of these young adult um, stories it is supernatural so it's to do with angels and demons and Nephilim um, I, I enjoyed the whole series. I think it was well written and I, as much as I was sad to sort of see the end come, I enjoyed the ending and um, I enjoyed sort of hearing about the story. It really is a story where the girl is, I guess, the key to, to, to changing it all and, and it's all about a little bit girl power-ish and stuff like that. I don't know. If you enjoy kind of um, supernatural kind of uh, young adult stories, then I think that you would enjoy this one. I would recommend picking it up. Okay, so that was a lot of book chatting. This video probably went for a very long time, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found some new books that you might want to read. Like I said, check the description box for a whole heap of links. It also has all my links if you want to come talk to me on social media. My Goodreads profile is linked down there as well, so you can follow my Goodreads challenge. I think I'm almost at my halfway point. I set a challenge for 100 books and I'm on 80 five or around um, some point maybe I'm pushing towards 90 hopefully soon so um, I'm almost at the halfway point so you can see all the books that I've been reading there other than that if you enjoyed this book video or if you enjoy beauty videos and things like that please subscribe so you don't miss a new video and I will talk to you guys all later bye